Hello, wrestling fans. How's everyone doing? I am doing surprising excellent. Anyway, before I talk about this video, I forgot to mention what I got in my unboxing. You saw some of the items, so I rewatched the video and I forgot to mention the stuff I got in the mail. So I apologize. So I'm gonna start over. So if you saw it again. From the previous time, please re-comment on it because I'm going to take that video down what you saw earlier today, okay? Thank you very much and I'm very, very sorry for the mistake, okay? I don't usually miss a mistake twice in one day, okay? Now, let's kick this thing off with the special article in Yashari's paper. It says, Jericho could help many a picture. It says, <clears throat> Dirty production for mania event talent will become event more um, a part as Russell mania season approach CM Punk should be the champ all the way to Russell mania on April 1st you know as April Fool's Day so that brings to light that need for an opponent. The company many have to look outside the current roster at stars such as JBL, Stone Cold Steve Austin, or Chris Jericho. Jericho, who left in September, I think that's the same night at Night of Champions live from Chicago, Illinois, where I attended. Good event. Okay, back to the story. As said, he would never ever get back in the ring. Has started very gentle, I think Jobber, J-A-B-B-I-N-G, at Punk on Twitter. He at all opening to return a slot in a WrestleMania main event M might be with looming him. That'd be awesome to see CM Punk versus Y2J. Title match or non-title match, it really doesn't matter. I really think that W might change their mind by the time WrestleMania will come around the corner. I'd really love to see CM Punk um, walk down the aisle with a belt around his waist or around his shoulder. You know, it'd be awesome, but you never know what's going to happen with the WWE. It's very, very early to tell. Okay? Now, everyone who saw my video earlier today, when I mentioned a few minutes ago, I messed up, so I decided to do it for the third time. Third time is a charm, okay? Now, the first pickup is Mortal Kombat. This is the second movie. It came out, I think this movie came out back in 95. I loved the first one, so I decided to buy this one. It's like a continuation, but I really love the original Mortal Kombat. There's the inside of it. Plus, I'm a big fan of the Mortal Kombat video games. Okay. Second movie is Batman Begins. Terrific. I saw this in my friend's house on DVD form, just like a few minutes of it. I really didn't understand the whole plot, but then I, then now I gotta get into it again, you know. So, and this could be great on a Blu-ray version, you know, high definition. You know, I'm looking forward to see the new Batman this summer coming up in 2012. It's gonna be awesome. There's the back of it. Okay. Now, I'm not too sure if I show you this movie in my previous video. Not too sure. You know, with my Blu-ray updates, I'm not too sure. If I did, oh well. Can't remember every uh, Blu-ray I show you that, you know, in a few weeks ago. I'm not too sure. Here it is, Space Jams, the Hall of Famer, Michael Jordan, with the Bulls, Health and Athlete. So happy that the NBA finally got this deal done. So, it has been confirmed that the Bulls will face the Lakers on the 725th on Christmas. But tomorrow night, 
the NBA will get the new schedule out. I'm so looking forward to that. Hopefully, go to an NBA game with my dad and hopefully take a road trip, maybe to Milwaukee or to Indianapolis. So I might make a video about that. So stay tuned to that. There's the inside. It all depends what days they play because I have a crazy work schedule, you know. Okay, now this is a very, very funny movie. I saw this movie oh, oh God, a few years ago. It was on HBO and Fox 32. And it was a holiday, a special. Probably everyone saw this because what I mentioned before, I messed up in my previous two videos. Here is, boom, very funny movie. First time on Blu-ray edition, what it says in the corner of that. Now, has anyone ever saw this movie before? Please let me know. Of course I saw this before on tape back in the day, but never ever on high definition. High definition is the next big thing. Okay, speaking of the next big thing is the new W12. I picked this up at GameStop. I reserved it this past summer. So... I'm so glad I got this in my possession. And I tell you one thing, my wrestling fans who love video games, this is the best darn um, video game for W Barn None. I play like a few matches, but I really didn't get in the store mode yet because well, I told early, earlier, I have a crazy schedule, you know. Of course, I'm off today. It's awesome. I got work tomorrow and um, off Wednesday, work Thursday, off Saturday. I mean, off Friday and work Saturday, but it's very, very bizarre. So, here's the inside cover slip. And plus, why I, why I told you before, I pre ordered it from GameStop, so I get The Rock, the Bramble Future Hall of Famer. Very cool, very gnarly. So, if you have PS3, if you want to add me, my username is RaiRai32. And I also have Madden 2012, if you want to play with me. And I also have Mortal Kombat. I forgot what Mortal Kombat I have. The recent one came out, I think, 2009 or 10. Not too sure. And I also have other video games. If you want to check out my video game collection, it's on my YouTube channel, okay? Next one is, I recently picked this up, I think, a few weeks ago. Vengeance 2011. This is a great front cover. Back of it is very gnarly. Here's the current world champion, Mark Henry. Now the problem I have with this front cover, it spoils the pay-per-view. Spoiler alert. They did the same thing at 90 Champions 2010 when Randy Orton was a world champion or W champion. Same thing with John Cena did at Savage Series 09. Was it 010? Yeah, 09. World Champion. Very, very dumb for the WWE part. They should never, ever do that. But most likely, it's going to happen again in the near future. Bank on it, wrestling gurus. Okay. Now, this is a thing I have not watched yet. I had this a few weeks ago. I know. I should watch it right away. But sometimes I don't watch things right away. I got a little dust on it. Just teasing. But I heard a lot of great things about it. And I'm a big fan about both of these superstars. Let me cut to the chase and show you this. Boom. Greatest rivalries of HBK versus Brit the Hitman Heart. It's a two disc Blu-ray set. There's the back of it. Gnarly. There's disc one. There's two. I'm going to show you guys the back of it. Probably you saw this in the past. But I want to show you on my channel. Very gnarly, huh? Now, they had terrific rivalries back in the early 90s, late 90s. Love it. Man, would it be awesome if they were tag teams for one night back in the day? But we would never know. That'd be kind of cool, and one guy could turn heel, and they could have a few that way. I think that'd be a great rivalry. Okay, now my latest pickup is... Now, before I show you this, I went to my local Best Buy 
Now before I got there, no actually I got there, someone got this 30 minutes before I did. I say, darn, crap. I was very disappointed. Actually it says in the computer, one left. But of course it takes a while to update them. That's what the worker says there. But I wasn't really mad. They said, there's Tuesday be more shipping, shipment in. Say I'm okay. May I order it on W.com or um, wait until next day? But I decided not to wait. I got it at my local Walmart. It's the new Stone Cold Steve Austin Hall of Famer, multi-time champion. You know, IC champion, tag team champion. You know, he's a Hall of Famer. We all know that. Actually, he is, and he's a great athlete. And I really cannot wait. To see the documentary. I heard a lot of great things about this documentary. Now the matches I saw already. But it would be the first time on HD. High definition. There is the first disc. The first disc is, is the documentary. Second one is matches. Third one is more matches. Very gnarly. Now, I think this is the first time in a long time since, I think, Rossman 26, um, Blu-ray edition. I'm not too sure if the Randy Orton Blu-ray edition. i got to look it up. Actually, I have it already. i got got to check it for myself. But I really think WWE should go back with this. New, not newspaper. Paper is not expensive to make WWE. Don't be cheap. Come on. Make your fans happy for once. I like this. It makes the Blu-ray... And the DVD looks a lot better, you know. Who wants a um, Blu-ray, Blu Blu-ray like this with no cover slip? People, especially wrestling fans, want to see it like this. Come on, it was like that a few years ago, and then they stopped. Okay, now you saw this already. All this stuff. Sorry, um, what I said earlier, I messed up twice already, but. So I'm going to show you my cards again. Very awesome, huh? Now, give me your opinions and thoughts. If I should get more cards in the near future, please comment down below. I will really like your appreciation. Now, a few years ago, I have a huge cards in my room. If you have not seen my video, it would be like a uh, room um, tour, okay? So check that video out. It's an old video, I think three years already or four years. I guess I got a lot of views on it. So very cool, very gnarly. Mr. Perfect, the guy who should been WF champion when he was live, but th the reason that WWE did not push him because they had Hogan, Warrior, Macho Man at the time, rest in peace, Macho Man, hopefully, he'd be in the Hall of Fame this year, I'd be very disappointed, he will not be, but you never know how WWE will perform or act. Kane, uh, Edge, we all know he's going to be a Hall of Fame very, very soon, maybe around, um, when WrestleMania comes to Toronto. But that's just a rumor I'm hearing. The Miz can't stand him, overrated. But I can tell you one thing about the Miz. He has great mic skills, decent stuff in the ring, but I don't like the guy John Nitro or AK John Morrison. He's history. We all know he's going to go TNA in the near future. A five time, five time WCW champion. So, what are your uh, um, thoughts on Booker T and uh, Corey Rose feud? I love it, you know? Most likely, these two guys are probably mostly going to face a pay per view, you know? Not going to roll a SmackDown because they want to hype it up big time. Randy Orton looks so young in that picture. He's a definitely a Hall of Famer. That picture I just showed you a few minutes ago. Now 
Yeah, this card is awesome, that one. What do you think, everyone? Now, do you have a favorite superstar down here on these cards? Hopefully, I'm not going too fast for you guys. I'm going very slow if I can. Right now, Mark Henry is still the current world champion. But you know he's not going to um, keep that belt forever because he has a, an injury of foot. Now this is an awesome card. I think this was on SmackDown last year. I, I'm not too sure. Okay, last one. The best announcers. Just kidding. King and JR is the best. Okay, now the ones... The stuff I missed in this video are, is Hell in Cell 2011. I saw this live at Hooters, but I want to see it on my own, on DVD form, because I like to hear what the announcers say. Very cool, huh? Of course, no cover slip, that sucks. They should do that for everyone, but they want to save some money, WWE. Come on. How much does it cost to make a freaking a cover slip out of paper? Come on. Okay. Now, I show you that card. Guess what came with it? Freaking gum. Look, it fell apart already. <laughs> I don't know how old this gum is because I got the, the cards from my, my local mall. And plus the cards are from the order I got. Very cool. Why the hell I, I don't know why I'm switching. It's the same side. Okay. Last thing, almost the last thing, is an ornament is The Rock, the bar mold, the people's champion, future Hall of Famer, the guy who's going to face John Cena at WrestleMania 28 live from Miami, Florida. Now this is my second um, ornament. The first one is, I forgot now. <laughs> I'll show you when we get our Christmas stuff out. Okay. Now probably everyone saw this already because I messed up twice. I don't own it for everyone else, okay, please? Here it is. This is awesome, isn't it? I'm so glad I got this in my collection. Now I'm going to have my co-host with the most, Nick, a.k.a. Governor of Football, okay? Now speaking of my co-host, this Friday, December 5th, we'll have a Q&A, Question Plus, other stuff we're going to discuss. So if you have any Q&A questions, please ask myself or Governor Football only in our YouTube inbox. We really, really appreciate it. So far, I only got one Q&A question. Probably I got two by now, but I guess nobody would want to do a Q&A um, stuff, you know. I did this way in advance, so I don't know what's going on, you guys. Maybe I know you guys are busy with your family and work, I understand that, but you know, I know you guys are not on a YouTube forever, but you know, just a quick reminder. If I don't have a lot of questions, I'm just gonna skip it. And I'm just gonna read the ones I have, and hopefully next time, we give you guys more, uh, more um, enough time next time, but I think I give enough time last time. But anyway, before I let you guys go, what's your thoughts on a, a, a YouTube layout? Now, for my opinion, I like it. I think it's different. The really is, the reason I do that because YouTube is getting bigger and bigger. Same thing for Facebook. Facebook recently changed their layout and people complain but no more. So I don't know what's up with you guys, you know. Thank God YouTube is not charging us anything for Facebook, you know. Whatever, what can you guys do? Wrestling gurus, you know, things change. Probably Twitter is going to be next. Now I used to have a Twitter account. I um, changed my email address, and um, I'm not gonna go um, go back to Twitter because number one, I can't figure it out is a pain in the butt. So if you guys have me on Twitter from before, just uh, de deny me or erase me. I really appreciate it. That's all I'm gonna say. It's nothing against you. I was never a, a fan. I just tried it once, and I just never liked it at first. I just um, I'm I'm on Facebook and YouTube. I might go on Twitter. If I do, I'll make a big announcement on my wrestling channel, okay? Have a good one, and i see you guys next one, next video, okay? Take care, and thanks for watching my show. Scratch it, my videos.
Bye-bye, everyone. Peace.